Today, we will learn about the Japanese idea of notan, and we'll make a paper cutting that deals with dark and light. So, what is a Japanese notan? Notan is a word that means dark and light balance. They can be kind of simple, like the ones we'll make today with scissors and paper, or incredibly complex. This one was probably made using an X Acto knife. Now, if you've seen a yin yang before, you'll understand the idea of positive and negative space. For every bit of light, there's darkness, and for every bit of darkness, there's light. Neither can exist without the other. In this painting from 1646 called Old Plum, the shape of the tree and its winding branches balance with the light of the sky. In this painting by Yamaneka Saitsu from 1887, the shape of the mountains and the empty space around them creates a perfect balance. Same with this painting from Takaku Algai. The empty space balances out the curvy lines of the ink tiger at the bottom of the page. So, what does this mean for us? We're going to explore the idea of notan and balance with a black square of paper. Your creation can be symmetrical, the same on both sides, or asymmetrical, kind of different all over the place. Pause the video and go find these materials I sent home your notan worksheet, a black square, and a big piece of paper. You'll also need scissors and glue. To start off, take this little square and make a very light little cross in the middle. That will help you keep your shapes in the right spots. You can make geometric shapes or kind of like wiggly, organic shapes. You can even make your shapes look like people or animals eventually. It's nice to practice with something simple though. So start off. You don't want to make your shapes too big. Try not to cross over the middle of the square. This is all to help you make a more balanced image. Also, try not to make teeny weeny tiny shapes either. Those will be super hard to cut out. Remember, you will have to cut every line you draw. So don't make them too complicated. I'm going to make some curvy lines, some jagged lines, but make sure you don't draw over a corner. I almost made a mistake because you have to be able to flip it. And if you draw over a corner, you won't be able to like turn it out. So make sure it starts and ends on the same side. Now I'm just going to keep going and try all different kinds of shapes. You can also draw a second shape inside the first one. This will be called a double cut. So after you've made a practice, You're gonna work on your big one. I'm using a white pastel so you can see what I'm doing, but you can use a pencil. You'll be able to see it just fine. Remember, you need to start and end on the same side. I'm making different kinds of lines and shapes, really filling up the space. After you're done drawing your basic shapes, you can get out your scissors and start to cut. Here's a little sneak preview. Every shape you cut will be flipped out. And check that out. We've got positive space and negative space. The object and the hole where it used to be. Cut out all your shapes. Then flip them out. That's step one. If you're happy with your image, you can stop there or you can make some double cuts. To do that, you just make a line. And you can even cut without drawing first if you want to and flip that one back in. Now, precision is really important. You really want to line everything up very evenly and carefully. Otherwise, it just doesn't look very good. So, when it's time to glue, make sure everything is super lined up. You can even do a third set of cuts if you want to. It's going to be really tiny though. So, I think just two is plenty. And you are ready to glue. To be honest, this part is kind of annoying. It's really sticky, but push everything away. Start with the middle and make sure all those little edges are glued down very well. Once the center is down, glue down all your little shapes. Make sure the edges are lined up as perfectly as you can. Remember, no ton is all about precision. And balance. So, your craftsmanship is really important here. 
Erase any extra pencil lines and you are done. I'm excited to see what you guys do with this technique of Noton.